New England QSO party first recording. We have a battery failure of the Milwaukee. Worked on? There we go. Yeah. Hey, 40 meters is the blue ox. Here's the mounting kit. Get another one of a of another angle of the whole unit. But the, here we have the uh that's a two-inch receiver with the um high Sierra mount. And uh I just got it mounted. It's a two-inch receiver. This is the forty dollar kit from uh, well, I don't have my slippers, but this is a $40 kit, 500-pound uh, um, rack from Harbor Freight. And that's the uh, the Hustler is up on the right. And this this one on the left is the, uh, the High Sierra. So it came out pretty damn good, solid as a rock. Uh, just got a couple tie-offs. We'll, so that's the mounting. We'll, 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 you can we'll, see what, we, what uh, Kim did. What we decided to do is notch out the... Notch out the um, that's the actual, the, the exact same mount that we used when it was on the contest caddy. That was mounted up with the same two bolts up underneath into the subframe bumper that was underneath the uh, plastic or the fiberglass part. So um, just mounted that. The cross member, that cross member that you see, the, um, that used to be up and attached to the trunk of the caddy, uh, the contest caddy. So we had to move that too. So that's just enough to support the feed point. There's no coax or anything run. Um, but that's just enough to support that feed point and uh, And we'll check out the rest of it. So yeah, let's see if we go up with it right from here. There's my DX engineering so you can see Just got a little piece of lanyard set up there keep going up There's the 80 meter resonator and it keeps going up. So we got the two of them. There's a contest caddy in the background she, She's uh, she's bare bones today, but um, you can see we got the big whip and the uh, it's pretty pretty robust. So got a couple things to do. Got to um, <coughs> got to uh, ground them. I want to. We're gonna put a ground strap between the two antennas and to the way the generator might be riding in the back here. And then feed the two feed lines and the uh, screwdriver controller. But uh, this is probably the earliest we've ever set up one of these, uh, set up for this event, the NEQP. So we'll get a whole shot of the truck, see if that can come out pretty good. I washed it up and everything for the, the corner. But that's it. It doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to hurt too bad. Just see it off the corner, and if we go over to the other side, you can see the resonator there, and that's just off the corner as well. So I think we're uh, we're in pretty good shape. It's the Blue Ox, a place in the contest caddy. The contest caddy's going to take a break this year. Going to see how this does. So far, so good. It looks uh, it's a true barnstormer fashion setup, and uh, we're going to have a good time. So that's the contest caddy. Contest Caddy's sitting, waiting. She's nice and clean too. No antennas on her. I just got the little VHF one. But here's the here's the new one. You could see the using some of that military mass to support the uh, the hustler vertical. Kim did a fix for the bouncy spring. We got some birds cheering about the excellent job we did installing this today. Or Kim did. So uh, more to come on this stuff. I'll probably probably go over the grounding and uh, once we get the radios inside and figure that out but uh, so far so good and we're having a good time